Yeah, now we look like a proper Grey Knight. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Game Junkies Online. We're still playing Doom Eternal, and I am... Who am I today? And this is your captain speaking, Justin. Um, oh, whoa, look at this. Oh yeah, I, I changed the outfit, because I found this and it looks awesome. What was that? Yeah, Doom Guy in white looks choice. I approve. Oh. Was that Mark Hamill? That kind of sounded like. Did that sound like Mark Hamill? Is that just me? Oh. So is this heaven? Is this what heaven looks like? It's kind of. This, ooh. Now we match. Ooh, look at that. So this should be when we shot ourselves into Mars. Is this Mars? Where are we? Look at that. This could also be New, Ze New Zealand in Lord of the Rings. Except for that over there. What is that? This does look like Doom Slayer base. Not Doom Slayer base. Um, I might actually read this one if it's a part of whatever we are. It's Admiral Prime. So, yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's a long one. Sentinel Prime. The ancient ar arena... Uh, the ancient arena is a holy place for the people of Argent Dinor. Dinor. <laughs> Constructed in the earliest days of their history, these colonists survive as a survive, served as a this coliseum served as a proving ground for trial by combat. Historical records indicate that the Argent Argent that the Argenta did not jail their own kind. Rather, prisoners and criminals were granted the right to earn their chance to regain honor through victory in the arena. Those who those who succeeded were given a place to fight in the front lines of the Sentinel Army, to die in service of Argent de Nur. So again, more 40k vibes. Uh, this tra this traditional use of the arena was sub had subsided has subsided since the assimilation of the Dark Realm with the Dark Realm. The corrupt priests with God, I can I can read. I promise. This is when I speak out loud. My brain goes dark. The corrupted priests now allow more violent ex exchanges with armed captives pitted against demons for sport. The priests of the Order Dreg Deg continue to hold undisputed power in Argent Denur, spilling the blood of the. Argent ascended class will result in the trend the transgressors banishment As asylum amongst the Argenta will be denied to any who do not adhere to the rules of engagement okay but again are we on Mars are those flowers those are leaves look at them leaves I just realized I forgot to. So, uh, never mind. That's more for me. Okay, what's around here? Anything fancy? We gotta be near the end of the game, right? Oh, that's gonna take me a bit to get used to in the white. Whoa. What is this? Oh, we. We were one of the prisoners, I take it. Oh, those are the fuck faces. We found him in the valley, just outside the castle walls. He was badly wounded and wearing this. Oh. It's OG days. Interesting. Gut. Huge gut. We... He 
has frightened him yet. In spite of his injuries. We talk. I also like how they use that line because Whoa, whoa. Um looking up stuff for the last game. Um that was where rip and tear comes from was a crappily very crappy written written comic book where you see doom guy sees a huge demon is like oh you're huge you must have huge guts i must rip and tear your guts huge guts and then they incorporated that line i'm not gonna read this one out loud <laughs> okay so we're we weren't born a sentinel doom guy and we somehow came to I'm assuming this is heaven we spoke of an they kept mentioning that we spoke of an ugly tongue we earned our right to fight in the army because we were um, got through the trial by combat we survived so much so that the crowd and the guards kept chanting um, what we would chant Rip and tear, rip and tear. And Doom Guy kept talking about beings born of fire and such, which I'm assuming is the demons. Or something, I don't know. It's weird. And another one. Wow, they're really dumping story here. And that was just talking about the... Ooh! Oh, I'm full up. And I got blood punch, so we're good. T that was just talking about um, how th the first demon invasion happened. It's kind of neat. It's just... Hey, invaders showed up. Ooh, look at that. This looks cool. Showed up not through spaceships or interdimensional travel, but through weird hell portals coming from Earth. From whatever from beneath their own reality or something like that you give us back our bunny Hmm. But John Wick don't give up. You took my bunny in the first place. Who's to say you won't take it again? It's my bunny. Want to say its name was Daisy? Ooh, how do I get there? Okay, up and around. Boom. Oh. Or just around. God, they're really wanting to drive story. So, the priests discovered what was causing the demons to be as strong as they were. Captured, figured out that energy, which I'm assuming... Oh my god, another one? Which was Argent Energy, which caused crazy strength and healing to those that were strong enough in will to receive it so then they started incorporating that into their own stuff which probably got them cocky it didn't that, and that's where the story ended and i'm assuming that's probably where they got cocky and then don't know that their forces are evil and all of that <clears throat> oh look there's doom guy doom guy though a stranger to this world and land and the ways um, rose in the ranks of the arenas in order to be actually given a cast and because he actually fought the demons and had a crazy bloodlust for them ended up getting sentinel training and came back stronger and stronger after every battle to the point where the sentinels now consider him a brother in arms I love I love the coloration. Ooh, secret found. What secret? Oh, 
Ooh, extra health. There's something over here. Oh, yes. What was the secret? I found something. Candy, no! What did that do? I'm gonna feel dumb if I miss it. Maybe it unlocked something up there further along. I have to sneeze now. I don't want to sneeze. <coughs> what did it do? I do not know. Maybe you unlock that one up. I don't know. It's going to bother me. Ooh, I like how the sound grows as we get closer. Yeah, but you're sacrificing so many lives in order to help your own personal gain? Like, oh, I must unlock this. Yeah, okay. Like, that's not cool. Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna read it. As we ward with the beast of... As we ward with the beast, the Argenta society, society grew under the watchful eyes of the Maker and through the endless power of the Essence. While our generals were consumed with the unholy war, our culture was marked by the beautiful po potion the enemy had provided us the sweet elixir it brought us an immeasurable capability and empowered us to reach further into our into dimensions once thought to be beyond our grasp under the under the direction of the maker gods and the engineering of the high priests our weapons blazed and our war machines stormed the throngs of the populace uh, drank deeply from the well of energy unraveled by the priests. But, but we of the Night Sentinels took no part in their abundance. Some among us whispered accusations and warnings against the manner of progress, but they, they were quelled as it was not our role to dictate the future of our people, only to defend it. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. For, if it keeps giving me those, I might as well just read them. Makes it easy. Less stuff I have to edit. Any... Ooh, secret secrets. How do we get the secret secrets? We go up here. Upgrade points. Oh, I like the white. I keep forgetting about it. It looks cool. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because I've been painting a lot of white for my Warhammer minis. But like white looks really good. If if done right. Yeah. So there there are three more index things. When one is over there. History of the Sentinels, Part 9. As the Black Star ascended into the Zenith, I hope I'm saying that right, King no 
Novik sat re- restless in on his th- throne as a howling darkness began to assemble just beyond the mountain rise to the east. The blight came came upon us in droves, flooding forth from the from the hell gates with merciless fury. Uh, they brought they brought with them monstrous titans. No, single, singular. They brought with them a monstrous titan, the Dreadnought, a beast to rival the stature and menace of even the mightiest ethereal. The grotesque giant laid waste to all before him, crushing all in his path. This was a total demonic assault, striking at the heart of Argent Denur. Oh, that must have been the, the big bastard demon thing that we, that I thought was so cool. In... That in that Argent Dinner level. Dinner? I'm gonna say dinner. Um How how was it that this that the behemoth could pass through the demonic gate without warning? We w- we would never know, though the night sentinels believe tre- treason was at play. Caught off guard, the sentinels scram- scrambled late in the Late in defiance of the Titan and its horde, and his horde, and with his coming, with his coming, the holy city of Terrace Nabad prepared for judgment. With the onslaught of the demons massed in the sprawling shadows of the aberrant fiend, the city shook to its foundation. None were spared, save for the save those that fled north the vile swarm the vile swarm ransacked our temples and palaces burning our towers and feasting on the souls of our clergy clear clergy <clears throat> yet the night sentinels rallied and head fast against the demons though they though they were pushed back and called Collared at the blood arena, as the dark of night uh, descended, their as the dark of night descended, their swords remained point point and shred the enemy multitude with um, abandon. That was words amidst the. Unyielding ranks of the sentinels, when all when all other applicants had fallen in battle, stood the outlander. Rip and tear, he roared, ferocious in battle. The remaining conscripts of the arena stood in awe as they witnessed the beast who who had once raged within their very cells, now armored alongside the, sh- the shoulders of his sentinel brethren. He had risen where none had, none other had before. A true-born sentinel fighter, the very best among them. Ooh. But, but though the swarm fell before their, before the. But though the swarm, fell before their assault, the titan remained in, invulnerable. Invincible, for none could tame the behemoth alone. In the hours before dawn, as the set, as the night sentinels weathered the relentless assault, the outlander held his ground at, at the foot of the great wall in the northern bend of the castle. Seeing his unending vi- vigor, Samur, Samur, Chancellor of the Mother God, her, heard, herded the outlander away, herded away, oh well, my god, Herded the outlander away under the vial of secrecy and for unknown reasons unknown. Uh, submitted him to a right untold. This was heresy, for Simur received no consent from the conmaker, nor did he receive her counsel. In the chapel of purity, the outlander submitted himself to the divinity machine. The there. Samur Maker, the Seraphim 
No. That's not going to be Samuel, right? I, no. No, it's got to be different. The, the seraphim known to us only as the side... There, there, Samir, maker, the seraphim known to us only as the side of the mother god, bless the outlander with fierce speed and power to match his will. That, that can't... No, it's got, it's got to be different, right? It can't be Samuel Hayden. He's in a giant robot body. Where was I? This is, um, it was the method by which this transformation, transfusion took place, that the most uncertain, that was most uncertain for to us, for we were of the knowledge that the maker device bestowed onto the Argenta, so many generations ago, was to be used by the priests only. Only to find the impurity among us. Huh. How could it be that the device that was meant to cull the sentinel's breed of its contaminants, contaminants could be used to purify the outlander body, outlander's body and give rise to one who could lead us into battle henceforth? Interesting. <clears throat> what rose from the holy coffin... What rose from the holy coffin on that fateful day was not an impure abomination that coveted that the covenant warned us of. The hero within who Oh my god, I'm gonna try this again. What rose from the holy coffin of that fateful day was not the impure abomination the covenant warned us of. The hero within who came to be known as the Great Slayer. The Time Walker, the warrior Khan whose fire sword would blaze forth the path of of the just and cut through the demonic horde with a vengeance that only a god king could summon. He rose unbroken by the ritual, his eyes burning with maker magic. He took the crucible in his hand and wrath fire leapt from the forth from the blade. As only it as only it will when he held by a true sentinel warrior king, as it did with Samuel Hayden. Hmm. In our darkest hour, the slayer had been chosen, defying tradition, our most sacred laws, and the will of the greatest, the great Khan herself. The stranger to our land had been blessed by the sentinel might. This is it's starting to get really interesting, and I wish we, like we could see it take place instead of being told about it. You know, the whole sh show don't tell kind of thing. Oh uh, yes, you will. Yeah, and you're gonna die because no more bunnies are gonna lose their life. Oh, another hell priest. Well, I've been reading them, so might as well. Dreg G Grave. Ah, oh, these names are hard for me to say. Remains the most powerful of the hell priests amongst the people of Argent Dinner. Uh, frequently visiting his ancient homeworld to lord over the populace. Arrogant and pompous. Gave, grave, gave, gave, grave. Calls for Bloodsport in the arena to entertain the fallen sentinels, citizens of Sentinel Prime. Once the demonic invasion of Earth began, began, he had operated on the planet's surface along with his fellow hell priests to direct hell's forces. But after the death of Dreg Non Nanix Nonox and Dreg Ranek, he'd fled to the safety of the arena. It was Dreg Deg Grave who felicitated the tournament, torment, and eventual brutal betrayal of 
Sentinel Commander Velen. Oh, who was... Yeah, that was the guy on Earth. Taking the keys to the... Sculpture of Elements and opened the vaults of the Sleeping Wraiths. The ancient creatures were abducted and teleported... Transported to hell and tortured to siphon away their power. He used the heart of the of Velen's son to animate the icon of sin and a titan still spoken of in legend throughout Argent Nur. Interesting. So that's all of it, and we got a big old boss fight. What do you think? Cyber Demon? No, it's gonna be the, the summoner, right? From the trailer. That's where we got the sword. Ooh, pinky. Are there other demons in these? No. So we got a pinky. A gargoyle. A hell knight. Cyber hell knight. Another hell knight? Yeah, two hell knights. Okay, that does... If those are going to be what they're throwing at me, that's going to be an obnoxious fight. It. Um, I thought we got all of those. I guess not. <clears throat> That's when we read before combat. Gladdy. Oh, what the fuck? Look at that. That looks awesome. In the years following the end of the Golden Age, Golden Age competing factions of Argent and Ort turned against one another. An insidious influence had beset itself upon the Sentinel people, corrupting its once held sacred traditions. The Colosseum, once a place of honorable combat where prisoners of the Argenta were tested for the right to fight in the front lines of their army, had since become a place of blood sport. Eh, blood sport. In violation of Sentinel law, the priests had encaged a demon there, a merciless executioner used to enact judgment on their own decree, of their own decree, the gladiator, wielding an accursed shield with in, which entombs the tormented souls of his undying master, remains undefeated in battle, infamous for the many lives he has claimed. Until today. No, doesn't cock a shotgun. Yeah, darn right, you open that for me. We gonna take this bitch out. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Those are... Are those the demons or are those the sentinels? Oh. Rip and tear, rip and tear. Did we fight all of these dudes and kick all of their asses? You'll make a fine addition to the front line, strength. The demons, they are everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna kill them all. As his wounds are bringing to us, I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. <laughs> And now you look more creepy. <laughs> Bitch, do you know who I am? Say my name. Ooh, you got demon voice. Say my name. Come on. Say my name. Ooh, ooh, that looks cool. Was that the shield? That's like some World of Warcraft shit. Oh, he's got goat legs! Nice rendering in. Gladiator. When the shield, when the shield's eyes flash green, the gladiator is about to attack. Shoot him when his eyes are green to stagger him. Okay. Come on. Ow. Come on, come on. Where you at? Where you at? Ow. That's what he's got. Okay, uh, plasma? Okay. 
Okay, that's a little bit of damage. Come on, come on. You ain't nothing but a chump. I missed. Ow. Oh, wow, he hurts hard. That's the wrong button. Flame belch. Ow. You stop that, sir. Come on, where you at? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go bigger. Does that hurt him? That does. Come on, what you got? What you got? Ow, I didn't dodge that. Come on, come on, show me what you got. Oops. Oh, can I blood punch him? Not today, teleporty chunk. Chump. Get ripped. Give me that armor. Come on. What you, what you got? What you got? Hey, you ain't nothing. Give me that armor. This one. Yeah, what you got? Ow. Did that hit me or did that just kill the demon? Okay, so the grenade does a little bit. Oh, wasted that. Ow. Okay, get that health. Oh, my nose itches. Oh, I need more ammo. My nose still itches. Ow, ammo. Blood punch, no. Blood punch. Okay, okay, time to... This ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. Oh, that missed. What you got? What you got? Come on. Get some. You ain't nothing but a chump. Like a chump. And the Marauder was harder than you. Come on, man. Fight me. Like, do something. Can I burn him? No. I missed. I missed again. I'll take that health though. Ow, fuck. Come on. Do something. Missed. I'll take that. Should light him up with some armor though. Come on, what you got? Ow! You shouldn't be able to shoot with your shield. Oh, horse shit! Gotta dodge the other way. Come on, come on! Ow! Fuck! Where's your other demons? Give me some health. Give me the health, give me the health. Come on, come on, come on. Stop tiptoeing around me, you coward. Got like one more. That's one. Come on. Yeah. You think you're tough? Oh, 
we gotta fight him again. Ain't getting no shield though. Oh, the shield's a demon? Hi. Hi, now it's now it's gonna be a challenge. Oh now he's got two. I do not like that. <clears throat> Without a shield, the gladiator is more aggressive and has a wider variety of attack. When the gladiator spins one of his flails and return it returns a it returns attacks back to the player. What? When the gladiator flesh, flat, eyes flash green, he's about to strike. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got my big boy. Get some of that. Oh, should have saved the BFG for this. All right, cool. Good, good, good checkpoint. Good checkpoint. Still got BFG ammo. Now oh, there's a little bit of damage. Fuck off, him. Woo! Not today, bitch. Not today. Get some of this. Get some of that. Get some of those. BFG. I have to hopscotch that. BFG. Oh, that's it? Come get some, yeah. Ow. 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 Super shotgun gets some armor. Alright, we got this, we got this. Super shotgun. Go, go, go. Fuck me in the butthole. Oh! Fuck! Oops. Oops, I missed. Ow! Okay, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage to him. Ow. Why that guy? I'm gonna die again. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Grenade. How did that not do damage? Alright, uh, rocket launcher. Nope, nope, get on to the big guy. Grenade. Nope. Ice bomb. <clears throat> Basic shotgun. go. Blood punch. Come on, come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? Ow! Oh my god. Get my butt kicked. Okay, so we gotta go one way, then the other way.
Oh, but fuck. Okay, now you're an actual challenge, but you're still going to die like a chump. Still going to get ripped and torn. Ow. He doesn't take damage for the first bit, which is kind of horseshit. You yeah, get some. Fuck you. Ice bomb. Damn it! Ooh, avoid the damage. Rip and tear, rip and tear. FG again. Ooh, that was lucky. Okay. Ow, ow. Give me that ammo. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Shit ass motherfucker. Nope. Jump. Fuck your jump rope tactics. God damn it. Come here, you. Why? How is that fair? How is that fair? Health and ammo. And yes, I actually mean ammo. Rocket launcher. Oh, yes, get fucked, sir! I will rip and tear you a new one. Ooh, oh, yes, we will. Yeah, what else you gotta say? Huh? Huh? Nothing. Yeah. That was satisfying. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's a cold coin I need to kill the dude. <laughs> yeah. He was trying to betray all y'all. <clears throat> I don't know what those coins are though. Glory kills on heavy demons will now instantly recharge blood punch. Nice achievement. Thumbs down. <laughs> yes, gladiatory. I guess that's gonna be a short one. I've been recording for an hour, but there's maybe like half an hour, 40 minutes of content. And I don't want to make like a two hour, I don't, I don't want to make an extra long video for the next one. So I guess this is going to be it for me for now. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit that bell to stay notified for more videos coming in the future and Follow us on social media, there are links down in the description below. And show your love by sharing the video with your friends, and we'll love you harder in the next one.